Good morning, day 17. So, <clears throat> had an awesome time at camp last night. Had a good big fire, hung out in the hot spring, and uh, got a good sleep. It wasn't biting cold last night, just chilly, so real nice upgrade. So this morning, I have for probably the first time ever put my shoes on in the hot spring. So first time putting on shoes in water because it was actually warm. So I just spent most of the morning with my feet in the water while eating breakfast and uh, dreading the river crossings because of how cold they are. So just did the first river crossing and it is freezing. But uh, we'll warm up as the day goes on and we get walking so I'm not too worried about it. Till then it's time to enjoy more of these awesome canyons. Towering giants. Look at that. We're taking a little snack break right now, about six and a half miles in for the day. Um, hoping to do maybe another 13 or so, but it doesn't really matter where we end up camping. So I'm just hoping to get around there to uh, give us an easier day tomorrow to get out of the river. We have 20 miles left of river to hike. So um, it's been very cold on the feet and um, lots and lots of bushwhacking and branches to get through. So my legs are a little battered right now. We're just starting to get red and scratched up and cold and bleeding a bit but that is all part of the fun which i am having a lot of um as you know darian bailed out uh yesterday because she was worried about cold she didn't really have the proper gear for the cold temps and then baywatch uh, just bailed now to take the high route because he has uh, less food than us because he wasn't planning on spending this much time on trail and river crossings are pretty slow so he's taking the high route so he can make better miles and maybe we'll see him sometime maybe we won't but we hope to because he's a cool guy so now we are back to our day one crew just me and nightcrawler day one <laughs> day one all over again that's right so we're uh pretty soon here we're gonna start jumping back in the river and having some fun Lots of like pock marks and holes in this canyon here and we're seeing some pretty cool birds of prey up there. It makes sense, they make for a pretty good nest. Well, we're noticing that the trails are getting less and less worn down uh, with every subsequent bailout point. So it's kind of cool because it feels pretty wild right now because there's less and less evidence of people around. So it's getting pretty interesting and cool. So we are starting to get up close and personal. The uh, canyon is starting to narrow. And what you're looking at right now, uh, straight ahead, maybe finger width right about there, is the river. Everything else is canyons on either side. So not quite slot canyons, but we're, we're closing in and it's feeling pretty cool. We officially do not have a trail anymore. No cairns, no tape, no trail markers. It is just us in the canyon. No footpath either. So we are just making our way up the river with some true wilderness experience, which is awesome. Hi, my name is Connor. I like long walks on the beach. And uh, that's about it. 
I am pretty unique. This path is starting to beat me up, so uh, Nightcrawler and I just stopped so I could have some lunch, maybe get some protein in me, see how that works, so hopefully my energy will pick up pretty soon, but I feel pretty tired, like I'm like ready for a nap or something, and we've only gone about, I think, uh, eight, eight, nine miles, or I think over ten. So we're going to try to uh, bump out another like five to seven or something like that so you can just see how far we can get and find a good camp and stop there. But hopefully the energy picks up because right now I'm feeling blah. The uh, river crossings are still cold and they're more and more frequent because the bends are tighter. So we're doing a lot of crossings which takes a lot of energy. So I'm, I'm feeling the effects right now. Still beautiful though. You can see kind of sort of in the background. We... Uh, just surrounded by those canyon walls still, just all day, every day, and it's really cool. We are making our way. The protein from the meal did give me more energy, so I'm feeling better, but just kind of tiring out from the day in general. All right. We got some big walls again, and some nice curves on the river, and enjoying it before we hit camp in the next you know, mile or a couple miles, we'll see. Yeah, we got ourselves a little grotto. Nice little water in cave a little bit as it's winding its way through these beautiful rocks. We are now on the search for the next good camp. So whenever we hit one, we're done. Uh, the problem is finding one because there aren't really any established camps here since there's very few people that walk through here. But we will find one eventually. Walking through an old wildfire area looks like a lot of downed trees along with standing trees that are all blackened and mostly dead it's kind of got an eerie feel but in a cool way all right after what felt like a very long day um well over 50 river crossings maybe 60 could even be more um over 20 miles we went through very cold, and it's only going to get colder tonight. We're looking at 31 degrees in the forecast tonight. So it is going to be freezing, especially right next to the river. So, But for now, we have made it to a cool camp. You can see Nightcrawler is uh, digging up the fireplace right now, but we've got a nice fire pit. We have uh, wood and um, all this flat space to set up camp. So I'll set up my tent right here. And uh, just enjoy the night, get warm, uh, dry out some stuff, eat some dinner, and then hopefully have a real nice rest before we head up to Snow Lake tomorrow, which is about seven miles from here. And I believe that's the end of the Gila. So uh, seven miles to get out of the Gila, then hang out at Snow Lake for a little while, and then keep heading north. All right, camp is set up. Dinner is cooking. Fire's on. And I... And wearing every single piece of dry clothing that I currently own on my pack. So, getting ready for the cold night. Until then, we have heat, which is awesome. So, that ends day 17. So, let me know what you think and check out some of the pictures from today. Alright.